What is up YouTube? This is the debut episode of Bladed Reviews. What I have for you here is a Smith & Wesson single action out the front. I picked this up on Blade Play for about 40 bucks. I will put a link in the description if this is something you might be interested in. Let's get into it. Okay, it's got safety here. Red dot means the blade is ready to fire. You slide this up snaps out really fast solid blade no wobble it's the spear tip double edged be careful what state you plan to carry this in it may be illegal here's your locking mechanism slide this down releases the blade you manually retract it back into the blade or into the handle which is why it's called a single action it is not an automatic. Once you push this up, you cannot pull this back to retract your blade. It's a manual retract, which makes it basically legal, depending on where you live. I live in Utah. We do not have a lot of restrictions on knives. I can conceal or open carry any knife I want, as long as it's not deemed. Um... A dangerous weapon, which depending on the blade and how long it is, is really the only restrictions. Now I picked this up off the internet, Blade Play. It was about 40 bucks. I wanted to get an automatic. Didn't have a couple hundred bucks to spend on a Benchmade or a Microtech, Ravencrest, all them guys. If you're looking to pick up a nice automatic. I would go with one of these. They do have a new model out this year where the handle is thinner, which I will probably be, be picking up soon. This was a little thick and heavy to carry in the pocket, but it is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this knife. The only problem I have with this knife is the locking mechanism isn't that sturdy. I like blades I can play with. I pull them out, throw them in the trees, cut stuff up. It will get a little more than a quarter inch of a stab or a throw and stick before it releases and does this by itself back into the handle. So if you were looking to carry this for self-defense, it's not a good stabber really sharp blade one of the sharpest i've ever had out of the box it's a great cutter they do have it marketed as an edc and the pocket is a little thick hard to carry so it's not a great edc i carry smokes in one pocket my cell phone in the other so it didn't fit too comfortably but if you were looking to get into automatics this would be a great place to start 40 bucks I will put a link in the description. Thank you for tuning in to the debut episode of Bladed Reviews. I will have another one up shortly. Thank you for tuning in.